about what the show is going to bring. We don't have a clue, do we girls? We have no idea what you're going to say, what I'm going to say, what you're going to do, what I'm going to do. We're just going to have an hour's worth of fun, aren't we? Okay, for those of you who this is your first time for viewing Mode of Cosmic Therapy, we welcome you. And for those of you who have been watching us over the past few months. We appreciate you so much and we're glad that you're back with us. And the premise of Mode of Cosmic Therapy is that we take everything off the cuff and spontaneously as it comes. We don't have a theme, we don't have a plot, we don't have a plan, we don't have anything except ever what happens during the course of this hour, just like life. But I want to introduce our distinguished panel of guests today. And I will start with the young lady on the end. Will you please tell me your name? Diamond. And what is your astrological sign? Scorpio. And what is your Chinese sign? Ox. And what is your Mayan sign? Ben. Okay, what she has just done is um, describe her three particular faces and phases in three different uh, astrological means, and they were American, Chinese, and Mayan. And I'm gonna move to the next little girl. What's your name? Brittany. And what is your astrological sign? Aquarius. And what is your Chinese sign? Dragon. And what is your Mayan sign? Lamont. Right, and it happens to be a Lamont day today, honey, so we'll see what that's gonna bring. That's the portal. For those of you who are familiar with Mayan astrology, Lamont represents the portal. It is like a gateway of going into something new and undiscovered. And each and every day should be that. When you wake up in the morning, it should be an adventure, not a drudgery, not a resentment, not a day filled with bitterness and anger and anticipation like you don't want to face the day. It should be exciting and happy and full of unexpected energy. Okay, now let's move over to this little girl. And what is your name? Brianna. And what is your astrological sign? Virgo. And your Chinese? Scorpio. And your Mayan? Emish? Emish. Emish, okay, thank you. Yes, let's move on down. Daisy. Uh, Daisy. And what's your astrological sign? Gemini. And your Chinese? Dragon. And your Maya? Koa. That's it. So what you have learned so far from these beautiful girls sitting on this panel is that they have many different selves, many different colors, many different flavors, many different fragrances, and many, many, many different talents. Okay, the first thing I think that we're going to do, Diamond, how about let's pull something out of that um, can. Do you want to do that? What we'll do and what we'll show during this hour is that whatever happens is right. There are no accidents and there are no mistakes in life. Whatever takes place is exactly and precisely what's supposed to take place in the way that it takes place. So if you start to thinking, oh, I missed out on something, I really did, I was supposed to get that. No, you weren't. You got exactly and precisely what you were supposed to have, and you are where you are for reasons you can't imagine. Right, girls? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay, so Daisy, we'll start with you. Pull a theme out of there, baby, whatever it is. We're gonna show how this hour will unfold that where you're concerned. Okay. 
I'm sorry, honey. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about that. I don't know how that one got put in there. All right. And you'll get one. Diamond, you'll get one. You got one? And what, did one fall down? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take that one since it fell down. Okay. Do each of you have a piece of paper? Get your yes. books out so we can start writing some things and showing how everything is going to be linked together. Linked together based on a Gemini flavor, a Virgo's flavor, an Aquarian flavor, a Scorpio flavor, and a Cancer with 9,000 plants in Leo flavor. Okay, get your books out. You got your pens. You got it so you'll be able to lean on it. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Um, do you use this side of you? That side, honey. Okay, the first thing I want you to do, though, is put your name on your paper and um, what day it is. I think it is Thursday. Is it Thursday? You do Thursday. Know? Right. Okay, put the day. So let's do that. Because what we're doing is deciphering. How do you like that word? Deciphering this Thursday. Okay, you got your name? Write your name. Can you put the date? Yes, you can put the date, honey. You can put the day. The day is, well, it's actually. Seven, seven. It's a. Uh, seven thirty oh nine. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is, honey. Okay. Seven thirty oh nine. And it's Thursday. And there's a saying that we have always put to Thursday. Go on Thursday when you won't go any other day. Say that, Diamond. Go on Thursday when you won't go any other day. Say it. Go on Thursday when you can't go on any other day. How about that? The Scorpio said can't. Aquarius? Go on Thursday whenever you want. And the Aquarius said go on Thursday whenever you want. Okay? The horse and Virgo? Go on Thursday when you don't have anything to do. <laughs> okay. Go on Thursday when you don't have anything to do. Gemini? Um, go on Thursday whenever you want. Go on Thursday whenever you want. This is two dragons. You can tell that dragons incidentally do what they want to do, how they want to do it, when they want to do it, where they want to do it. Right, girls? Okay. okay. Let's look on our papers and see what they say. All right. And we are going to start with Daisy. What did your paper say? This one. When you are not self-vested in caring, then and only, then can you genuinely care for anything or anyone. Wow, that is so true. Let me see that, honey. When you are not self-vested in caring, then and only then can you genuinely care for anything and anyone, okay? Now watch me, honey. When you are not self-vested in caring, then and only then can you genuinely care for anyone or anything. Now, in hearing those words, or picking out some words of that, give me something about that, what you just read. Anything, honey. Like a word? Uh-huh. Genuinely. Genuinely? Okay, put that on your paper. All right, Miss Brianna, let's read yours. When someone... Uh-huh. Acts... Badly. In your presence. Presence. What has that to do with you? Okay. When someone acts badly in your presence, what has that got to do with you? Now tell me something. When somebody acts bad in front of you, what has that got to do with you? Does it have anything to do with you? No. Okay. Why? 
because who cares what people think? That's right. Okay, write that down, honey. Who cares what people think? There you go. All right. Aquarius? It says, if you are afraid to, to, turn, to turn it loose, it had already turned you loose. If you have, are afraid to turn it loose, you have already, it has already turned you loose? Okay, say something about that, baby. Um, if you're scared to do something, that's just something that you think you're really not scared. Wow, okay. So write that down on your paper. So don't be scared. Okay, yeah. done. You sense the urgency in your life as the storm moves through. No longer can you play dead. Speak up. <gasps> wow, you got a potent one. Let me see that. That is certainly applicable to a Scorpio. You sense the urgency in your life as the storm moves through. No longer can you play dead. Speak up. All right, now what, what is that telling me to do? If you want to do something, then you should do it. And don't wait for it. I hear to... you, honey. Okay, write that down. I like that. Don't wait for it. You're saying go ahead and do it, right? Yes. I didn't make the right thing. No, that's okay. What'd you write? Who cares about you? Uh, that's a good, who cares about you? Let's talk about that. Who cares about you? Who cares about you? Me. Ah, me. Everybody put the word me on your paper. Me cares about me. Yes, Brianna? Just Emmy. Just Emmy. Me cares about me. Okay? Now, underneath that me, let's draw a circle. What is it? Who? About A B O U T me. Um, yes. How, how big is the circle? You make the circle as big as you want to. Make a circle. You got a circle? Okay, get a marker. Get a marker. Everybody choose a marker. Whatever color you want. Yes. I think I'm gonna take purple. Let me see. Wrong color. What color you want, honey? I think they're all mixed up. Yeah. I mean, I think not all the colors is there. All right? Now take your circle and outline it with your marker. All right? I just like trace it. Yeah, just like trace it. Okay, let me see what we're doing here. You are wasting your strength and agility by being superficial. And that is so true. Anytime you are not being authentic, do you know how much energy it takes to try to impress people? Do you know how much energy it takes to try to make somebody like you? Do you know how much energy it takes just to pretend that I'm enjoying something when I'm not? Do you know? Somebody tell me how much. How much energy do you think it takes? One to ten. Name a number. Seven. Okay. Five. What do you say? One Six. to ten. Six. Okay. Ten. Okay. Put that number on your paper. Any Anywhere you want to. Number you mm -hmm. The number you said. And I'm going to say. It takes. With a penny marker with your pen first and then your marker. I'm gonna say 10 too, Daisy, because I think it takes all of your energy. Okay? So do I write down the yes. my answer in the box, in the circle? And then Put it wherever you want to. Wherever you want to. Our um, answer um, is the other I think answer. it's five because it's like halfway, half of your energy. Half of your energy. Okay, write that down, honey. And what did you say, sweetie? Seven. And why'd you say seven? Out of 10? Um, a little bit more than half? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, the next thing I want you to you do. Can change your color. Yeah, you can change your color. 
Okay. The next thing that I want you to do is take a box because we all kind of like when we're on this earth, we kind of like live in a box. So I want you to put that box, a square, anywhere on your picture that you want to. Make it small. Okay. Bigger. Does it have to be big? Any, any size you want it to be, sweetie. Any size you want it to be. Put your box on your paper. Okay? You got that done? Um, does it need to be a pen? Um, no, you can do it. This color is fading. Okay, we'll get you another. Here. All right. Now, the next thing that I want you to do. Yes. I can't do a rectangle. Huh? I can't do a rectangle. Yeah, I know. I do too, but it's okay. It's okay. Everything's okay. All right. The next thing we're going to do is. Here. Let's see how we're coming along. Just pick a card. Any card you want to, Brianna. Any card you want to. Okay, let's see how this unfolds. You do it too. Everything in your life means something. Not one single solitary thing is insignificant. Not a word, not an action, not a song, not a piece of clothes, not food. Whatever you do in the run of a day has something to do with the theme of your day. Insolent is my word for today. Insolent. Okay. Insolent. In. So. Lit. Yes, darling. And your word is intoxicated. Do you know what intoxicated means? Okay, most of the time when people think of being intoxicated, they think of drinking alcohol or beer and getting drunk, but there's such a thing as being intoxicated on humor or on knowledge, on love, on joy. What would you choose to be intoxicated on?